Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions here on the one channel where you get solutions to all your surveying problems. Today we are going to look at this mobile application called Google Map or Google Earth. Yeah, Google Earth. So we are going to see how to export the um, import rather the exported KML file from um, AutoCAD to this particular application and see how well we can do some other stuff. You know, almost everything is going mobile now. When you want to go to site, most times you don't want to go out to your computer or maybe your laptop or even sometimes you don't want to go out to your equipment. So with these little or with these important here, with these important applications on your phone, you can actually do a lot of things within a short period of time and you wouldn't even know that you have done them. So are we together? Now let's start. Um, if you want to download this um, application, the link to the download will be on the description section where you can actually download it from what? From, um, from Google Play Store. So now before we do anything, you can decide to sign in or maybe sign up, whatever the case is. So this um on the top left you see three lines there so you just touch it and then you tap it and then you decide to sign in with any of your gmail that you have on your on your device so we've actually signed in with um, the solving solution gmail so the next thing we want to show you now is that um, we want to show you how you go about the settings actually on the settings there are some things that have actually been set to what you actually need them like if you come to what the formats and units you see that under the units of measurement it's under what meters and kilometers which is actually the standard we use for measurement so there is no need for you to do anything there so it's set then um, on your latitude and longitude formatting you see the minute and seconds and that's preferable so that you know how to present it better instead of converting from decimal to degree minute and second so that's for that then then uh, what else are we going to consider on these settings i'm not sure we are going to consider any other thing again on this particular video on this setting so that's that for the settings now the next thing we want to look at is we want to look at what the map style the map style now by the time you tap on that map style there you see different labels you see labels and borders and you see how you want to do what how you want to show them do you want a clean border um, do, do you want to do you want a clean label like maybe there is no border label place or road and you want exploration where you can see borders labels places and roads or you want everything all borders labels places roads transit and the rest of that so for whatever you want to do you can just um, shuttle between the exploration and everything but that clean is not very good because you wouldn't actually see most of the things you're looking for so for this particular video we are going to use the word we are going to use everything and another feature i want us to understand is this turn on grid lines it's actually an interesting feature on this um, application by the time you turn it on you see the grid you see the grid lines on the globe and then you see the different latitude and the longitude at different points it's actually interesting it's actually interesting when i try to explore that feature you see the latitude and longitude at the different points on the grid that covers the the map that particular area of the map so let's just turn it on and we are going to see how it works so then turn on 3d buildings and rest of that we don't really need them so having said that the next thing we want to do now is we want to do what we want to you can even see the grids that have actually been what have actually been on the globe but you appreciate it more when you move to a particular location so the next thing now is we come to what we still come to that three lines there at the top left and we come to projects we come to what we come to projects and on the projects we want to do what we want to open that our kml file the kml file that we've actually what we've actually exported from um, from AutoCAD, so we want to put it on what on Google Maps. So we we'll come to what under projects, we we'll come to open. Then they will now say import KML file or open project from Drive. What we want to do is what we want to import KML file. So we we'll just tap on that, and it takes us to our file directory where we we'll now look for where the what where the KML file is. I think it's on. So it's actually on a particular folder where we um, a particular folder called in KML file. So we access that folder. And then we do what we open we have three kml files here card to kml rough kml sar jkml so these are actually um, three files we converted during the course of um, before we made this video so now let's look at um, let's look at this um, rough kml for this particular video so we just what we tap on that rough kml so we we'll now find out that it will actually take us to what do you call it to actually take us to those um, those points now what we did here this um, particular job was actually, uh, would I call it um, an as-built survey. We went out somewhere to 
um, confirm, to confirm the, the boundary of a particular building. So um, after doing that, we had to convert the, what do you call it, the Excel file to KML file and then we have imported it to, to Google Map. So you can see what you can actually do with what, what you can actually do with this mobile application. You know, on our last video, you, you, we, you saw how you can um, export from um, DXF, AutoCAD to KML on um, Google Map or Google Let. Now, on this video, we are also showing you that, okay, yes, as you can do it on your computer or on your laptop, you can also do it on your mobile phone. And we've actually shown you how to do it on your what, on your mobile phone. Are we together? Good. Now. We are not going to do that on this video today we are only going to show you how you are going to see um, the importing of the what do you call it importing of the KML file to the what to the to Google map like using this application now there, is, there are so many features you can explore these are actually the four corners of the building that um, we actually went to we saw on the ground there so you can see the grid now i was telling you about i was telling you something about the grid so now you can see how the grid is giving you the latitude and longitude of the area you cover so by the time you zoom in you zoom out the grids are just automatically updating themselves to the area you are concerned with so that's actually another cool feature of this particular application so remember you come to what you come to projects on projects you open you import your what your KML file now there's another thing i want us to check now at the top you see one two three four five six icons there now there is a particular icon that looks like tip or let's say ruler yes the second from the right now by the time you tap on it it's what the major icon is what you call it major that's why i say it looks like a ruler now what do what do i want to do with that i want to use this to try to measure distance remember i said we are not going to calculate area on this particular video but i just want to show you like let's say a tip before ever we come to the end of today's video and you will have to see that on our next video now you know for you to calculate area you have to use that you have to use that um, feature called major so you see a particular icon like um let's like say a circle with um, four lines um, like um, the cardinal point or something like that so you take it to the particular point you want to do what you want to start from and then you do what you tap on what add point but as i said earlier we are not going to consider it on this video so you are going to see it on our next video so thanks for coming to class today or thanks for watching our videos i hope you have learned a thing or two i know that it has um, provided solution to this particular problem of um, moving around with your computer or your laptop and things like that so with this a mobile application you can actually import your kml file on google earth and visualize the area maybe the location where the um, survey was carried out it was actually okay or maybe it's actually where you went to carry out the survey and then you see now you can also see that it's actually a built-up area and then it's actually the four corners of a particular building and these are the roads and the rest of that so yeah and um, you can explore the application see more things for yourself so thanks for coming if you're a new viewer Please subscribe to the channel if you are returning viewer thanks for checking back on us and always checking on us i hope to see you on the next video until then make sure that you keep being a good surveyor or a geospatial special analyst and then uh, we'll see you on the next video take care and have a nice time